Rex 121 at 70 and a half. Fuck, dude. This has got to be the hardest knife I've ever ground. And I did, you know, it was a full 150 thou stock. And we did this needle taper, man. It should be fucking wild. And we have to do some finish grinding on the blade here. You know, we're about 25 thou behind the edge here. Uh, it's really low edge angle. It's like 12 degrees per side. But god damn, that's a huge ass bevel. Now listen, you know. I get people like, man, I love your work, but it's really expensive and blah, blah, blah. Look, I could just make the knife like this right here. There's nothing really, really special about it. Yes, it's Rex 121. I could sell it based off the steel name. It's got my heat treat, blah, blah, blah. The real magic to a laser high-performance edge geometry knife is taking that bevel and making it small by grinding it thinner, you know, increasing that taper right there. That takes these fucking belts, man. You know, so it, it takes a lot of time, skill, expertise, you know, making sure you're not burning stuff up, water, cool, grinding, all that shit. But goddamn, you know, <laughs> it just really kicks your ass. But it has to be fucking done because nothing like this exists on the planet. Nothing exists in the world like this. It was something that I've always wanted, something that I begged other makers to do, you know, but it just cost a lot of fucking money to do. So just got these in from True Grit. These are the Diamond Micron Film Belts from 3M. These are the 675Ls right here. The blue one is a 74 micron. The orange colored one is a 125 micron. These are respectively like the 125 micron is like a 120 grit belt. And the 74 micron is going to be like a 220 grit belt. And so Diamond, it's not recommended to be used with steel. But the idea is that you would use this, something like this with water cooling. And so... The reason why it's not recommended in steel is because carbon is soluble inside of the iron. And what you have with diamond is diamond is just compressed carbon bonds, okay? When you give it enough heat, uh, then what happens is this abrasive will break down very, very easy. The diamond's really designed for ceramics and carbide. Carbide just being, you know, like 70, 80%, you know, tungsten carbide matrix and a cobalt binder. There's nothing for it to really uh, break down into, you know. So what happens is, is just your diamond abrasive, which is really, really hard, it breaks down a lot easier. So CBN is recommended, but CBN is twice the cost. These belts are not fucking cheap. These are like 75 bucks a piece right here. And they don't make them coarser. The coarsest they make in a diamond film is going to be your 125, which is a 120 grit belt. And so... The technology just doesn't exist right now to have something that actually really fucking hogs off the metal. But we have these guys right here, and this is hard enough to actually put some good cut, good finish, and finish out these 60 grit finishes that we get over here. But we're we're getting our ass kicked here, you know. So it'd be nice in the future if you know the price comes down on diamond and CBN technology to make crazy ass deals happen. But that's the bottleneck right now. We're at the cutting edge of all this shit. And the bottleneck is really the abrasive. You know, it's just, it's barely catching up. It's not quite there. But when it is, that's when you can really, you know, let the dogs loose on all this crazy shit. So, good stuff. So, thanks, Ryan and Scott at True Grit for, you know, being the cutting edge, the leading edge when it comes to abrasive technology. You guys fucking rock. You guys are really bringing it to, you know, the community and allowing us to really push the limits of what's possible. All right, take it easy.